one of the wonderful things about this channel of ours is the community that's built up and every single day i get loads and loads and loads of comments from everybody some great some excellent some bad and some a little bit questionable as you know once a week or sometimes twice i'll do a readout of some of the comments on a particular video to give you a bit of feedback now <laughs> Yesterday, I, I saw a comment which really uh, amused me. <laughs> it wasn't a troll comment, and it, it wasn't a good comment. It was somewhere in the middle ground, really, uh, and I wanted to address it because I, I really did think it was quite funny. I'll pull that up in a minute. The other thing as well I wanted to mention, I, I put a congratulatory post out to Simon Sideways, uh, where he's reached 100,000 subscribers. Somebody took exception to that, said I was supporting racists and they'd no longer subscribe to my channel. Hey, you can't win them all. Uh, you know, I have the right to congratulate somebody if I think they've done well, as in that case. Now, comments. This one was, uh, this one was a good one. Now, I've cut the person's name out because I don't want to embarrass them, but I'm not going to beat about the bush, so I'll just come out with it. I think you're working for the 77th Brigade or the government, and I'll explain why. You've been here less than four years, yet you've put out over 4,100 videos. That's a lot of videos and editing for someone who's supposedly up all the hours driving taxis to and from the airport. Couple that with the fact you're pushing bullshit like this and you look like a copper. That's That has led me to doubt you if I'm wrong, and I apologise, but your channel makes my 77th Brigade shield detector twitch. <laughs> okay, right, let's deal with this, shall we? Uh, I've been at this four years, more or less exactly now. Now, this actual YouTube channel, uh, Andy the Gabby Cabby, if you look, when it was created, it was actually more than four years ago. But I started using it in earnest about four years ago at the time of lockdown because my taxi business fell on its arse and I didn't have anything else to do. So I, I started producing uh, what I'm doing. I quickly came to, well, I don't know whether you call it prominence or attention or whatever you want to you want to call it when I was noticed by another YouTuber who gave me advice on how to start yada, yada, yada. And what quickly happened after that, I started just churning out content. Didn't know what to do, really. So I started trying to do anything from eight to 10 videos a day, seven days a week, like this other YouTuber was, chasing the pound note, the monetization, and everything else as you do. So, you know, you take one week of videos at 10 a day, at 70 videos, after a while, I quickly realized, mm, this is too much. This is overkill. I can't. So you have to find a happy medium. So sometimes I go between three and four. And I've stuck to that fairly consistently recently. As for the uh, driving a taxi all hours, uh, the difference between, well, now and back then, I have more drivers who, you know, are with me on a self employed business. And, you know, we could spread the work out a bit more and made some changes and all that sort of thing and with videos what i tend to do is record them in blocks uh, you know a little bit of behind the scenes there i record them in blocks so i will record four videos on uh, the platform at a particular point in time i'll then do all the thumbnails and edit them and then i'll pre-schedule them to be released uh, usually the following day. For example, I said at the beginning of this video yesterday, but from my point of view, it is yesterday because that's when I'm recording it. That's how I work. Uh, not sure if you follow that. With trial and error, I found a very nice piece of software in the background which records all the videos for me and enables me to publish them and do other bits and pieces in a very very efficient way so a summary of my week and I, I may well do or let's say a day I may, I may well do a blog on this at some point just to so you can see what I get up to because people have asked uh generally get up about seven half seven in the morning take my son to school with my wife walk home uh I'll then plan it plan out what I'm going to do for the videos later on in the day deal with any airport emails bookings and everything else uh, you know, and shove any bookings on, driver allocations. 
I will then take care of the airport runs, be them during the day or in the middle of the night. And then at some point in the day before, be it earlier on in the day or later on in the day, I will record four more videos to go out. What it effectively is, is routine. It's just steady routine doing the same thing that fits into a pattern again and again and again. It's just managing your time. As Arnold Schwarzenegger said, people that drive him mad are people that say, I haven't got the time for this 24 hours in a day. You sleep for, what, six to eight of them, and then you just have to manage your time accordingly. You know, you can learn something new, apply your time to a business, uh, do something of leisure, spend time with your children or loved ones. You can divide your, ch your time up over the course of the day. I happen to be very regimented and very good at it. That's why it comes across as it does. And as for the fact I look like a copper, my dad, between the military and the civilian police force, was a copper for the better part of 30 years. So I suppose I may well look like a copper because he was for a very long time. I hope that clears everything up there. Thank you very much for the comment. I just wanted to make a video on it to clear up any misunderstandings. As I say, I may do a vlog on it at some point. You never know. Anyway, you want to see another one of my videos? Have that one there. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.